You know, the search for contentment, uh, which, you know, everybody really basically is on and can't even feel it because there's so much trauma, trauma and angst out there. Yes. But for you, did it shift in 1997 when you went to India? It did. I had what I now consider to be a, a, a glimpse of bliss. And I, it lasted a month. Wow. It was not abiding. It was abiding for a month. And I would meditate for four hours and I just saw the illusion. Oh my gosh, I would love to do that. Okay, let's do it. Okay. 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 <laughs> Bye. Okay, <laughs> see ya. We're going Bye -bye. off to India, sitting in the Himalayas. Yeah. A month, a month. Yeah. You had a month of bliss? I had a month of bliss and it continued when oh I came God, back I'd to America. Oh my God, I'd kill for a month of bliss. Really? Yeah, oh my gosh. Okay, so. I wouldn't kill, but you know, I'd be so. You wouldn't have to kill. <laughs> you wouldn't have to kill. You'd have a month of bliss. You'd be so out. So what yeah. does that feel like? It feels like my having seen through the illusion of, of my own ego and of this dance and of the separatism, this big, big lie, there's that word again, this big lie that we're disconnected. And I, I was doing it as much as anyone else was. I was disconnected from the sense of God. I was disconnected from my relationships, disconnected in here. Everything was fragmented. And so I was believing that that was what I was. So how did you come to that, through meditation? I stepped away from, well, I had been Were you off. an ashram? Where were you? Um, I, went, I went hiking in the Himalayas. I did a bunch of exercises where I thought, I remember hiking up into the mountains, four days up, no one around except for the odd animal and the odd kick-ass village. And I just remember thinking, I'm going to try to not talk about the future or anyone else, only talk about now. So there were exercises like that that I would try on. I would meditate. In, in India, every street corner is an altar. There's incense. Yes. It's, I, I, it's just breathtaking. I love India. There you go. I love yes, India. Yes, it's this grand invitation, really. Yes. And so was it that, you know, not a lot of people, not everybody I know, is going to have a chance to get to India. But if you do go, yeah. now yeah. that you've been, yes. can you have India in your own backyard? Yes. Yeah. And I remember so saying I. that to my friend. Mm -hmm. We were meditating and we were in that transcendental place. And we sort of came to, for lack of a better term, my friend said, oh, we have to stay here. And I said, no, let's just bring it back. And I was able to bring it back, but it lasted about a month. Really? And then it <laughs> quickly slid away into the workaholic ethers. Yeah. Um, not to say that I don't have glimpses of it. And, my, and this sort of connection with all that is access is is not abiding for me it's just moments